My dad started off as a trade unionist and he became a businessman later and my mom was a teacher. I grew up in a three-room flat in uh, Beach Road. There were seven of us uh, in the flat. But later on, as my uh, dad worked hard, our whole family progressed with life. Uh, I did see uh, a different side of society. These two sides of society made me realise that uh, there is a difference and we, we must do everything we can to make sure that those who start life behind the starting line are given all the opportunities possible to live a full life. When I was teaching in the prison school, uh, uh, I had a lot of very enthusiastic students. Uh, they were very bright, uh, they loved learning. It made me realise that a lot of times, success and failure in society, it's also because of family, circumstances, background. While we need to preserve a sense of personal responsibility in Singapore, we must make sure that those who start off a life with less are still given all the opportunities that they have to lead a full life uh, to the best of their abilities. I work with youth uh, quite a bit in the last few years. The youth today are very connected. They know what they want. Uh, they are exposed to uh, the full range of life from a very young age. So what we need to do is to support them and believe in them. Just like when I was growing up, the generation of us first would say, look at you guys, you know, what would happen uh, if Singapore is uh, in your hands? But we turn out fine. So in the same way, I would say, we should believe in our young men and women and trust that they can take Singapore forward. I want to make sure that we continue to share and believe in the Singapore dream. I want to make sure that our forefathers in the last 50 years can say, hand to their heart, they have made Singapore the best home they can be. The future of Singapore is not something that just happens to us. It's something that we all can create together.